Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diving welcoming you to the Philippines battle in the Tri-Belt Championship Boxing Nations Cup. The winner will join will represent the Philippines in the 16 nation tournament. We see 16 of the best Filipino fighters around and the semis and finals will be televised. For semi-final we'll see the great Pancho Villa the flyweight against the junior lightweight Gabriel Alorde. Pancho will have Kay Adams and Johnny Taco in his corner. Angelo Dundee and Ray Antiveros for Elorde at the Elorde Sports Complex. Elorde wants to win in front of his own fans. Johnny Addy, your announcer. Sylvester Abenza, your referee. Gustav Padilla. Kim Jai Bond and Alan Krebs are your judges. And Ariel Barrios is your ringside expert. Pancho Villa, the legend for the Philippines who actually was only 24 when he died, 1919 to 1925. He was 91 age and four world lightweight champion before he died. And at such a young age, he beat Chris Pineda by unanimous decision and then a split decision against young Tommy. Elorde, Flash Elorde as they call him, who died quite young at 50. From 1951 to 1971, he was a boxer, 88, 27 and two. He was the WBC Super Featherweight and the WBA Super Featherweight Champion. Won some Philippine tournaments. He decisioned Little Dado and a majority decision over Tanny Campbell. So we'll see what he can do against Villa.
gentlemen, we have your decision. So 10 rounds. Sorry, Fula has injured his hand. And Panja Villa injured his hand, so Elorde is going to get the TKO win. A big win for Elorde. Yeah, he injured his hand. It was a tight fight, according to Elio Barrios, saying that maybe Panja Villa would have survived. He's injured his hand. And Elorde wins the fight. Well, after nine rounds, I think Elordi would have won by points because Padilla from Panama gave him a big win. Guillermo of South Korea was giving the fight to Villa, and Krebs had it actually 50-50, both fighters winning four rounds, with the fifth round being a tie. So, personally, I think that Pancho Villa had it good, but then he was losing it. I don't know. But Alorde wins, and now it's Lucido Espinosa featherweight versus the junior lightweight Ben Villaflor. Espinosa gets Johnny Lewis and Al Gavin in his corner. Villaflor gets Lorik and Gore in his match. At Raja Suleiman Park, Ruby Contreras is your announcer, Espinosa your referee. Gerald Maltz, Matteo Fertini, and John Coyle are your judges. With George Foreign, your ringside expert. So Lucido Espinosa, Golden Boy as they call him. 1984-2005 in his career, 21 year career, 47 and 13, WBC and w, well, WBC featherweight and WBA bantamweight title. Both by decision over Lado Poncho and Malcolm Ternaco. So Espinosa, I like the semifinals against Ben Villafor. 1966 to 1976 as a fighter, 54, 8, and 7, the super featherweight champion of the WBA. He decision Edwin Fillmore and Renato Donaire. Big one over Donaire. So Fillmore would love to do it and get to the Filipino final.
and gentlemen, we have your decision. Espinoza will go to the Filipino final with that knockdown in round nine. But you never know. Here's your official decision. Gerald Maltz says 96-92. Dale Fracchini says 98-90. And John Coyle says 96-92. For Lucido Espinoza, who will no doubt be one of the luckiest guys around to make the final, but he's in... As I said, 10-7 rounds, so... Espinoza closed it out. And now Espinoza, the featherweight, will have to deal with the junior lightweight star Gabriel Alorde. Alorde will have Ted Walker and Darkie Smith in his corner, Patty Flood and D Danny Mancini for Espinoza. From Raja Suleiman Park, Billy Jordan, the announcer, fans of your referee, Javier Aguirre Flores, your ringside expert. With Terrence Macaluza, George Smith, and Madison Oakyard judges. So, who wins? We don't know.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Judges' votes are in, and here, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. Is that Espinosa's time? Well, Flores says the Lorde is going to win with his last flurry. And make sure that there's no major upset in the Philippines championship.
question on everyone's lips is who won? Macaruza says 143, 142 for Lorde. Ooh, interesting. Smith says 142, 142 even. And Ogar from Holland scores about 143, 141 for Alorde. Yep, Gabriel Alorde. Will be your Philippines champion. It was close. How close was that? I must know. 420 and 425. Espinoza had a feeling, but the final four rounds were definitely a lower days. Well, Espinoza did knock a lower day down for a 10 8. It was 10. Well, if it's 10 9, then a lower day would have been. The majority decision. One major change was that Ogmar put Alorde in the sixth round instead of Espinoza. That would have, yeah, if he had said the sixth round for Espinoza instead of Alorde, it would have been a majority draw. So that would have been forced a rematch, but yeah, sixth round, he decided to go with Elorde. And one knockdown by Espinoza. So that's why Elorde won. Manny Pacquiao losing to Tim Cara was a huge one by TKO. But yeah, in the end, Elorde is your Philippines champion, so he did what he could, and it all worked out in the end. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.